What's up you guys, welcome back to Tokyo, Japan. Today we're gonna be trying a ton of food from Japanese traditional sushi, oh. <laughs> Korean street food, oh, you got a food, as well as other Japanese delicacies. Let's get going. Rainy morning. <laughs> it's so rainy today. We got rain today in Tokyo. We got a wonderful umbrella though that's shading. Some of me, most of Shell, I would say. It's a very small umbrella. It's the last umbrella our hotel had and it's very small. It looks actually kind of big in this video, but it barely covers one of us. We are out and about even though it is raining. There's so much to do and see here. Obviously from our last video, you saw how amazing this city is. But there's definitely still a lot of things that we have not yet done that we need to do. One of which is have some sushi. We're at this amazing place right now, highly recommended, said to be one of the best sushi places in Tokyo, and I would assume Tokyo is one of the best sushi places in the world. So I would as well. You guys, this is actually our second time attempting to come here, and both times there has been an insane line out front. You can't make a reservation, you have to just take a number, and people wait for like five plus hours. People will wait so long to the point where the restaurant just closes, and they stop serving people, and people will have waited all night. Like, it's literally that busy all the time. Well, it's a rainy after noon so we're really hoping that we can get in we just got here we took our number we're pretty far down the list but she's kind of going through numbers quick and I think it's because it's raining and people are just leaving yeah we just pulled number what 71 75 oh crap Wait, got rained on <laughs> 73. We just pulled number 73 there. I think they just call it somewhere in the 40s. So we got about 30 to go. But I'm hoping a lot of people have abandoned all hope and left. We'll find out, guys. This place is called Sushi Nomidori Ginza. We're in Ginza right now. And we really hope we can get in this place. Fingers crossed. We made it in. We only had to wait about an hour, which I think is really great. I think a lot of people did abandon because it was cold and rainy and all the above. I'm glad we stuck it out because I'm very excited about this. We got all the sushi chefs right in front of us here making some incredible masterpieces. We have ordered a California roll, a Norway roll, we have a couple avocado and shrimp, and then we have a tuna sampler platter coming. We just got our first rolls, they're gigantic. Like so much bigger than anything we used to get back in the USA. We were ordering, like she said, a lot more than we thought we would, because we're used to the portion sizes or the size of the rolls back home, but they are massive here. I actually don't know which one this is. Is this the California roll? Uh, yeah. It's gigantic. <laughs> You ate the whole thing? That was so good. It was so good. <laughs> I think I might have to do two lines. They're huge. We thought we were ordering too much. We may have to get more. This is so good. Okay, I'm going for Mr. Shrimpy now. <laughs> so good. So good. Where does it go? 
It just dissolves in your mouth. It is that delicious. Holy smokes. I have to share this with you too. I don't want to. That's amazing. Wow. How is that like so tender? <laughs> this is so good. Ooh, that wasabi is so good. Mm. This place is so worth the wait. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Um, okay, you guys, that was 10 out of 10. That was like 100 out of 10. Hands down, I've never had better sushi in my entire life. That place blew my mind. There is a reason that there's like a 17 hour wait every single time you come here. I think we just were blessed by the weather gods, thank you so much, to come on a cold, rainy day because they were just plowing through people's numbers and no one was showing up and we just <laughs> waited it out, waited out the rain and I am so glad we did. I'm noticing there's a theme, okay? Every Japanese restaurant we've been to first of all they've all blown my mind delicious the food here is next level so good but they're all very very small and actually very very quiet and so I always feel like when we're in there like it's like okay let's video and talk more about it when we get outside because it's so intimate cramped and too. yes it's very intimate so we're noticing that there's a theme but we always want to tell you guys how incredible they are and that you have to go there but I feel like I can't go gushy crazy ravey about it inside because it's so small and quiet <laughs> I'm like I need to get outside I can use my arm I can use my outside voice. <laughs> oh my we were able to get those two rolls, which were huge. They we got were the gigantic. tuna platter, and we got the two pieces of the shrimp and avocado for all about $25. Like that 25 was US very dollars. reasonable. That I was shocked. Compared to the small amounts of Wagyu beef we had last night, which was well over $100, the sushi was so much more reasonably priced. Here, Nailed I think it. it is very expensive <laughs> in other places, but this place, they had top quality sushi so for good. a good price, which is incredible. And we got the bar seating. We were yeah, right like there we in front of the chef. He's making it all. They have all the fish right in front of us. They're cutting it up with their big sharp knife. It was incredible. Yeah, I, I want those knives. Second. They were so sharp. And they were like giggling at us. We had no idea what they were saying. They probably didn't know what we were saying. But we were just giggling at each other. Every time we took a bite, they would all look at us and we would like freak out and then they would start giggling. It was great. I loved it. That was amazing. This place was so good. I can't get over it. And guess what? The rain's kind of stopped. I know. Yay! Just in time. Okay, you guys, I've seen these corn dogs literally all over the internet, and we actually just happened to walk by this place, and they look so good, and the line's long, so I was like, okay, we're stopping, we're hungry, I gotta try these. I don't know if these are Korean or Japanese, I gotta be honest with you, but I've seen them all over the internet with monstrous cheese rolls, as you can see here, so <laughs> I'm excited. Let's try one. What does that say? Oh. Maybe you have to pay first. Money first. Money first. We order here on our little vending machine looking thing. It's all in Japanese, so I have no idea what's going on. It'll be an adventure. We'll find out what we get. Sugar. The guys in front of us told us we have to roll it in sugar. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I thought maybe it was salt. It's not, it's sugar. I think it'll be delicious. They, they said it was very good. <laughs> this is gigantic. <laughs> Here we go. Mm, that was a weak cheese pull, but this is really good. The sugar is good. I think I would have rather had salt though. <laughs> oh, you got a food! It's so much cheese. This is delicious, though. Mm. Oh <laughs> Just wrap it right back on there. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit of Korean fried chicken here. There's chicken in this, it's, I guess. It's, like it's covered in mozzarella. Oh. I'm loving it. Didn't get enough from the corn dog. Oh yeah, it's like a sweet and spicy sauce. They look hot. It smells good. Really good. Yeah, it's just chicken. The sauce is delicious. Fantastic, you gotta try this. 
another iconic thing. I feel like I've seen all over the internet these 10 yen coins just full of cheese. So let's see if I get a better cheese pull on this one. The corn dog, I didn't have a very good cheese pull. Daniel did. Let's see if I get a better one here. I think it's going to be really hot. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I didn't even get any cheese. Oh, here we go. The dough is good. It tastes like a waffle. <laughs> that was a good cheese pull. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god. Did you lose your hat? <laughs> mm, that's so good. All right, guys, I think we're getting a little bit cheesed <laughs> out here. Everything we've had has been packed with mozzarella cheese. I'm not complaining, it's been absolutely delicious, but maybe time to go find something a little different. <laughs> Look at that ribbon. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Just eat it, you gotta eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's too long. We've just made it to downtown Shinjuku. <laughs> Just north of Shibuya, and we just found Godzilla. Godzilla. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I think this is cooler than the Shibuya Crossing. Shibuya Crossing? Shibuya Crossing. They're all cool. All the crosswalks here in Japan are actually very cool. Alright, here he is. Right up there, he's coming over. He actually is not <laughs> breaching that wall. He's just staying put. <laughs> it's actually a little like light show and music show that went off when we were standing here. His <laughs> like claws lit up and started breathing smoke and whatever. But he's a dragon. He breathes awesome. fire. Oh, look at him! He's lighting up again. <laughs> Always a treat when you're in Japan. <laughs> I think Shell found another winner here. We definitely got out of the cold. It is nice and warm because we have the grill right in front of us. I am loving, I don't know if it's just because we're a party of two everywhere we go. Our last three meals have been fantastic and they've all been cooked right in front of our face and I love, I love it. it. I know. I love it. It's warm and it smells <laughs> delicious and it's cool. We're at a place called Tomon Kunchi to have some special dish called Okonomiyaki, which is like a Japanese It's a Japanese pancake. savory pancake. I've read a ton about them. I heard that you have to try them and apparently this is the place I'm really excited. It's like tucked back in this little street and it's just this cool little thing on top of this building and I'm excited. They're just cooking it right in front of us and it smells delicious. And I've been looking at them coming out and they look so good. Oh my gosh guys, we ordered some garlic butter edamame. Just a massive slab of butter in there right here on the grill. It looks incredible. We also have some soba noodles coming that we're gonna split. Very excited about this. First up, garlic butter edamame. The Japanese have done it again. This food is fantastic. Oh my god. Here we go. A little spicy sauce. Oh, it's thick. Didn't test it beforehand. Hopefully, I like that. <laughs> you put a lot on. I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to eat this. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm eating, but it's cheesy. The sauce is honestly like a spicy barbecue sauce. And then it's got some bacon on it. It's really, really good. And it's so warm. <laughs> We 
got our noodles. We have a big plate here, but she sectioned it out for us. I don't even remember what's in this, but they look so good and they smell so good. So good. That's all I have to say. So good. <laughs> that was Whoa. like a different <laughs> flavor than I feel like we've had anywhere else. I don't know. I don't feel like anything has been super the same, but I feel like everything we've had has been like authentic Japanese food. Maybe not. I feel like it has though. That was so good. So much flavor. A little on the heavy side, I would say, because I think there's a lot of like mayo in it. I kind of loved that about it. I know. I'll be honest. <laughs> I and kind then, of can't ever get enough, I'll be honest. Mayo or sauce? Mayo. That one no, was really just saucy. like food. I always want yeah, more that's and more, true. but then I wouldn't be as hungry for the next meal. So I'm glad the portions have been reasonable because obviously we've just been eating a you lot guys, of I food. I feel here. like literally we've just been eating our way through Tokyo. Everything I feel like we've been documenting and doing, honestly, has revolved around food, but the food here is so good. It's fantastic. It's so delicious. It's blowing me away. Like by far, I think this is the best food that we've had since we left the U.S. Like the food here is unbelievable. Okonomiyaki, whatever we just ate, the little Japanese savory pancake, it was so good. It had like a serious barbecue flavor to it. Like he was squirting brown sauce on it. I swear to you, it was like Sweet Baby Ray's. Just kidding. I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was not. But it was, it was definitely good. some delicious <laughs> barbecue sauce. And then they brought over this like spicy sauce that tasted like a spicy barbecue sauce, but it wasn't really that. That spicy, it was just kind famous of more barbecuey. Yeah. Maybe that one was famous Dave's spit. <laughs> was it devil spit or whatever? Devil spit. <laughs> just kidding, you guys, it wasn't any of those <laughs> barbecue sauces, but it was so good. Guys, we hope you've been enjoying all of the foods here in Tokyo. We sure have. <laughs> we most certainly have. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time. It was much more reasonably polite. The sushi was much more reasonably. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> The sushi was much more reasonably placed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the sushi was much more reasonably... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs>